In case you missed the big news, Courtney's son Connor, <laughs> he is at the ripe old age. He's going to homecoming. I know, high school freshman, and I have to tell you all the fun things, the planning and all of that, but I'm in a tailspin for all of you moms out there that are first timers like me, uh, tackling one of the biggest topics of discussion when you talk about homecoming are the moms. We are joined by the mum queen, Elizabeth Kleber, and Derek, of course, is here to hold my hand because you can do I have it. a hot glue gun. There's all <laughs> kinds of things happening. Elizabeth, it is so great to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Courtney. Thank you for answering the call to come in today. We do appreciate it. Okay, you've been doing this for how many years? 30 years. And how many mums, approximately, have you made over the 30 years? Tons. <laughs> hundreds. <laughs> hundreds and hundreds, yes. And this basically started with your children, is that That's right? That's right. I helped four little boys my daughter's freshman year, and it just blossomed into what it is today. And Elizabeth, break it down for us, because I've lived here in Texas now for six years. When I first moved here, I had never heard of a mom. What exactly is a mom, and how is it used or worn? Okay, a homecoming mom is um, worn on homecoming day at your high school football games. They usually wear it to school that day and then to the game that night. And it is represents what the girl is involved in, you know, at school. In other words, if she's involved in cheerleading, that's what you put on her mom. And then the garters are based around whatever the guy is involved in. The girls generally buy the guys the garter and the guys buy the girls the homecoming mom. Okay, and then they wear them in school and then to the football game Friday exactly. night. and then they hang them on the wall. It's like their wedding dress. Oh boy, keepsake. <laughs> okay, well don't push that too far yet. Let's just talk just about Just like a, a wedding dress. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay, as we know in Texas, bigger is better and we're seeing some of the displays. These are some of your moms that you have. Um, I mean, I'm my goodness, when we way. talk about the size, is this like built to order or I mean is there like small basically, medium large basically in my studio when you come in you tell me what size you want and then you go from there and you pick out everything you want on your mom I don't do anything all I do is make it pretty for you oh okay well I like that and I mean these are gorgeous they are gorgeous are there any rules in terms of the materials required like obviously ribbons feathers uh, some have jewels and stuffed animals on them can you put kind of anything on a mom Pretty much, you can put anything you want on your mom. It's what your designer's choice is, is how I look at it. Every de designer has their own technique, and that's who you go to for what you want. Okay, all right, well, let's get started. The hot glue gun is on. We've got rib ribbons and feathers and all kinds of things. Where do we start? Okay, basically, you have to go to your store and get you your ribbons. Okay. You will need mums, backers, glue sticks, glue guns. And so what I have here is a backer. And what I've done already so far is I've made a homecoming uh, loop that has your homecoming on it. Okay. And then the next thing you're gonna need is your person's name. We got Connor right here, got your cover girl. Okay. Okay, <laughs> and then the next thing we're gonna put on it is her name. And then you've picked out all these braids for her to have on her mom. Okay, these are so Pretty. And Elizabeth, okay. you've essentially taken strips of ribbon and you've just stapled them together using a, a heavy duty stapler, is that right? That's correct. It's okay, so layer so upon layer. Yes, but each, first, one of these, has... each one of these braids are handmade, hand bling, and I make my own bling as well. Oh my goodness. Yes. yes. So uh, there's a lot of detail in in my work and that um, a lot of my clients come to me for. Okay. Okay, so then we have this yes. little. Let's hold this up I know, too. You want to see it? Yeah, these braids, Elizabeth. So, if someone at home is wondering how to create a braid like this, you've essentially taken the ribbon and braided it together. Exactly. Each one of them. This is called my Ziggy braid, and um, because it zigzags back and forth. And uh, there's uh, YouTube videos out there. I also have a group that I have. Um, all the braids uh, on videos for anyone to learn. Okay, we're gonna okay. take this one too. Okay, and then we're gonna put this one on here, and now we're ready to to go with it. Okay, so Staple that one back on. All right, and now we're ready to place it on your back. You want to hold that? Mom? Sure. So you can say you helped with it. I did help. <laughs> yes, you did. So basically, you're gonna need a backer and uh, something for her to hold it on. Okay. And I'm gonna ask you to hold that for me, and then I'm gonna glue. This on here, okay. like this. So that backer is just a round piece of cardboard. It's actually it's a cake topper that I a cake thing that I use because it's sturdy because these can get and it's nice and round. So basically, there's different techniques, but this is the way I've always done it. So now I'm going to bring that on there like that. Okay. 
And then what I'm going to do, and I want you to hold that right there. Okay, got it. Don't touch because this is nope. very hot. And then we're going to put this backer on here. And what I do is I put this on here so that you can, um, it makes it for a pretty finish. And I don't, when I put my ruffle on, oh, move okay. your hand. Okay. Okay. And what that's going to do is sandwich that in there. So uh -huh. you're covering up all those staples there. Exactly. Which you won't see because now I'm going to put the mum. The ruffle on. Oh, hold, okay. I want you to hold that there. Okay. And I'm going to work over here. This is an industrial strength glue gun. Yes, 350 degrees. So, wow. And a lot of you need, if you're making your own mum, a normal hot glue gun or cold glue won't keep it together. Oh. You have to have something very hot that it's going to stay in there. Yeah, my, I have a little hot glue gun at home. Yeah, that's not going to work. Yeah, no, you need the gonna, industrial. Yeah, you need a big hot, hot glue gun. Okay. okay. Do you have any fingerprints left from the amount of time that you touched <laughs> hot glue? <laughs> I am immune, Ma. Oh, my I gosh. Not, I can't even swipe up on my iPhone anymore. Oh, my Doesn't goodness. Register. Well, I will say, Elizabeth, while you're gluing the mum on the top there, she did say she has about 15 orders to get done by Wednesday this week um, to get them out. And then uh, homecoming season goes deep until October. So yes. you're busy, busy, busy. Yes, I am. I'm booked up through the 15th of October and um, and still taking order, a few orders left. I have a few slots left. Okay. Basically, as a new mom, what yeah. you need to know is that next year when he school starts, uh, tell him to start early thinking about homecoming. Okay, so if it's the same girl, she can't wear the same mom? It's got to be a new one. <laughs> it's got to be a new one. <laughs> it does? <laughs> Just kidding. I'm teasing. And Elizabeth, sort even of. if someone is doing this DIY at home, I mean, the materials, this can be expensive, right? Yes, it does, especially with the uh, epidemic going on, you know, with the COVID. Sure. Everything has doubled in prices, homecoming moms is concerned. Um, there's places that you can buy and you can make your own mom to save money, but basically when you go out and buy in retail, you're pretty much... Better to have someone make, professionally make it for you. Yeah. Or so, plan ahead and look right, for those sales. Right, right, right. So anyway, okay, now we're going to we put had, a, We just had our bow. The finishing touches here. The orange, this, the color scheme is so pretty. Obviously, these are the school colors. These but, are the, yeah. say pie is the school colors. That is right. It's so pretty. Okay. All right. Elizabeth, uh, thank you so much for walking us through this process. And then she is it around the head, around the neck? She wears or it around her back, her neck. Okay. I'm put the finishing on the back. There we go. Well, I don't know if it's going to fit over my head. <laughs> You're ready for homecoming. Yes. Um, yes. Elizabeth, thank you so much. It's so beautiful. By the way, as you heard, she's still accepting a few orders. If you want to connect with Elizabeth, let's be real. Order your mom from her. Check it out. Our website, HoustonLife.tv. Go down the scene on section of our website. We do appreciate you, Elizabeth. Thank you. Enjoy.